So, fellas, where are we going? What are we doing? I'm up for anything. Restaurant? Dinner? I'm thinking dinner. No, Who's no, hungry? No. Fellas? This area has restricted access. Yar, sorry. yes, but I'm a pirate, you see, as you can see by my... Now get out of here. No? Honestly. Better dress than both of you. Blam. What do you think of that? Hi everyone, welcome back to Outside Xbox. I'm Andy, and today we are heading back into Hitman 3 for another three ways to play. We are playing the new Ambrose Island mission, which has been added to the game in an update. Uh, the Shadows in the Water mission. Uh, we're on a pirate island, so I've come dressed in what I thought was appropriate pirate attire. But apparently, it's the other kind of, the bad kind of pirate. The ones that don't have hooks for hands and eye patches. And they don't sail around digging up chests of gold. They just do, like, horrible hijackings and and Captain Phillips boats and things like that. We've got a couple of targets here on the level. Uh, Noel Crest and uh, Aka, who is uh, the pirate leader. Noel Crest is the leader of um, a group of militia. So we're going to head out into the island, uh, see what we can find. There is one of my targets over there. little red shape and another one over there. So I guess I'm heading in this direction through the jungle inland i've come wearing the classic suit because well <laughs> i i uh i don't know feels comfortable feels feels familiar right i think i'm allowed to be here i'm not even trespassing everyone's very chill apparently on this pirate island and this guy doesn't even mind me being here sneaking up on him in the jungle and this way we've got see i remember playing this bit with andy so the map is huge as you can see, lots of areas, lots of paths. And this is kind of the um, the first place you arrive at. It's Farah's Bar, where there is some kind of arm wrestling competition going on. No, wait, it's like a slap fight, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I momentarily forgot what I was wearing. But that cutscene works brilliantly with those rainbow socks. Hello, it's Mike. I'm back again. Uh, it's been a while since I played Hitman, but hopefully I haven't lost my touch. Can you, make me a balloon like a you just asked for, a, just asked for a balloon animal. Fine. I haven't got much in the way of equipment. Um, I bought a lockpick. Uh, I bought some emetic poison. A fish. There we go. I'm already better equipped than I was when I started fishing line. Why not? Let's have a quick look in here. See if there's anything useful. A fish. Handy. What else? A fishing line. Give a man a fish and he'll feed himself for a day. Teach him how to fish with a fishing line and he'll feed himself for a lifetime. That's what I learnt from charity adverts in the 1990s. Okay, cool. A flaming torch. This is very much in the, uh, in the aesthetic I'm going for. This pirate aesthetic going through the jungle with the torch. Might just add some piratey music here. Yeah, that in post, John. Just had some piracy music for me. Thanks. Yeah, that's the stuff. Sir, stop smoking and wearing modern clothes. You're ruining my pirate fantasy. Thank you. There's one of my targets hovering around up there. And there's another one on my three o'clock. Let's go check that one out. And I think this is going to be Noel Crest. Okay, here's my dude with his uh, two bodyguards. And what are we doing, fellas? Doesn't. I always get food poisoning from the other cooks. Right. Uh, well, her shift doesn't start until later. Sorry. Okay. No, Crest is a picky eater in that he doesn't like to get food poisoning. And uh, he only wants to eat the food prepared by a specific chef who is sleeping in a nearby hut. So, this, as you will no doubt recognize, is some kind of opportunity. And I'm going to pursue it. Right. The kitchen is in, in here, in this building. It is locked, yes. So I'm going to need some kind of, some kind of key to get into the kitchen if I'm going to, I mean, at a guess, poison Noel Crest's food. But also, he'll only eat it if he thinks it's been prepared by one specific chef who is asleep. And also, there's no chef in there right now. So that's, uh, that's a wrinkle in the plan. Oh man, maybe I could just throw some poison through the window. Ah. Oh. Little party going on. Oh my god. Oh, it's Firefest. There. That's Noel Crest. Where? Oh, yeah. 
Wait, what is happening here? <laughs> okay. Slap fight. Who wants a chance to be next? Me. I want to do a slap fight. If he hits me in the face, my nose might squeak. <laughs> what is the objective of this sport? My turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. Yeah, enter. Ah, uh, okay, here we go. Bam! Wow. Down in one. He wouldn't stand a chance against one of us. Well, come on then. All right, ready up. Do the gloves make it better or worse? I think better. Oh. I'll smack that blank look right off your damn face. <laughs> My nose has remained intact as well. Big slap, big slap, big slap. Yeah, all right, big shot. Let's do this. Yeah, finally. Put your mouth where your mouth is. <laughs> Blam. What do you think of that? Yeah, I thought so. That's Noel Crest. Ah, Noel Crest. Okay, that's one of our targets. Uh, this fella here, I assume. See if he turns red. Yeah, there we go. Noel Crest. Getting them both in one place would certainly save some time. Okay, so he's waiting for Racket to call a meeting, uh, which would get them both in the same place. So that could be good. There's going to be a light that goes on somewhere. Uh, okay, so she's the one that calls the meeting. I should probably check her out. Okay, well, maybe they'll let me into the pyro compound because I'm dressed like a pirate, right? This Fellas? Yar. Yes, but I'm a pirate, you see, as you can see by my... No? Honestly. Better dress than both of you. What kind of pirate get-up is that? Headband and shirt. Don't even have a cool coat or a hat like me. All these boots. All right, fine. I've got to find another way in, I guess. I think, regrettably, hugely regrettably, the greatest regret of my life is that I will have to change out of this cool pirate outfit because I'm not going to get into the pirate compound dressed like the good kind of pirate. I'm going to have to go and find one of these these guys and uh, dress like them. Now, there are a lot of them around, so I should probably try and find one that's isolated. Um, so, yeah, let's just keep uh, scouting. Right, so, locate key. Locate sleeping chef. Uh, there's a silhouette of a sleeping person in that shack. But there are so many shacks and it is night time. So, so we're going to have a time finding the sleeping chef. Well, there's a chef, but that's not our chef. That's a dude chef. Hey. I can't believe how cool everyone is about this, uh, this Agent 47 swanning around the village. I mean, I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. I like it. I'm glad I'm not having to sneak around here. Look, see? Someone sleeping in there could be the chef. I seem to recall there is like some kind of skeleton key around here. Oh, I'll have that. Fresh, tasty apple. Now, there's a little kind of bar karaoke room in here. Uh-huh. And yeah, this was it. So if I grab that. Aha, yes. So there's like a skeleton key, like a master key on the wall. And no one wants me to pick it up. That is a crime. But I've got a plan. And here's the plan. Um, I just need to have all these people not looking at me while I steal the key. So, coin. And double check. Everyone's distracted. I'm just going to like, just gently, just gently lob it through the window. And while everyone's curious about it, just quickly, yeah, I'll take that. And run, 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 run. Yeah, great. I don't think anyone noticed, or if they did see, they weren't sure what they saw, and now I have the key. Are you the one who schooled my people? Yes. Huh. Well, I want to talk to you about something. In private. Nothing sinister, there's no hard feelings here. I just have an offer for you. Are you asking me on a date? I've been planning some operations. And I need a guy who can slap people really hard. Big targets, big faces, big payouts. I didn't get slapped once. Don't take this the wrong way, but it feels like if I looked away for a minute, I'd completely forget every feature. <laughs> Even the nose? Shouldn't really be dropping cigars around a, a, an exploding barrel, my friend. That's extremely dangerous. I really wish I'd, uh, wish I'd punctured that barrel. Hey, I couldn't really, couldn't really off him just then because he had two guards with him. Hey, there's one up on the, there's one up on the ledge. 
Uh, he looks pretty isolated. There's a door right behind him. I can sort of pop out of that. Let's get round and see if we can get up to uh, get up to where that is. Pull myself up, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. All right. This will work. This will work. We've got a body hiding cupboard and everything. Huh. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is throw a delicious fish into the corner, and he'll smell the great smell of the fish. Yeah. Got some weird noises here. He'll be like, hmm, dinner time, go over to try and eat it. But then he'll be so preoccupied with that, he won't notice me sneak up behind him and choke him unconscious. Like so. Alright, that worked out pretty good. I could have just thrown something at him, but I was too worried he would, like, pitch forward and fall onto the beach, and then it would have been a whole thing. Alright, now I am dressed like the other kind of pirate, and friends, it's bad. Uh, let's get this guy hidden. Okay, bottle of vodka. That'll be a little treat for later in the mission. <sighs> look at it. The colours don't even go. I look like Hulk Hogan. during In the Hulkamania years. Alright, hello. Yes, it's me. I'm a pirate. I'm dressed like you idiots now. Is that as good, is it? Yeah, that's right. Hulkamania's running wild on you, brother. Can I come in? No, nope, someone's looking at me. What do we got? Who have we got? Who is it? Oh, okay, just got that. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, great. We are in the pirate compound. There is Akka. There inside this room. Uh, some kind of jail. Okay, this key's going to get me everywhere I need to go, and I am going to find this sleeping chef if it takes me all night. Right, let's start with this shack here, okay? Unlock this one, and here we go. Okay, let's close this close this door. I'm definitely not meant to be in here, like some kind of creepy bald sandman. Okay, that doesn't look like my chef. Doesn't look like a chef at all. I don't know that a chef would have a kitchen this kind of cluttered. Okay, there's another sleeper in this shack. So. <laughs> I'm continuing my rounds as like a sinister sandman and um, yeah, let's just check in on this sleeping potential victim. Uh, get that closed, if you please. Uh, there's an umbrella, I don't need that. What else? Watermelon, kitchen knife. Now, a chef would have a kitchen knife, but also a chef would maybe not leave as many dirty plates on the coffee table. I feel like there'd be some sort of intel or props or, a, you know, a chef's outfit or something. Something to tip me off that this is the chef I'm looking for. But hey, we're here now. So let's just get a quick mirror selfie with my... <laughs> with my sleeping almost victim and uh, and then we'll be away. I'm not creepy. You're creepy, 47. Don't look at me like that. I mean, there can only be like 50 or 60 uh, shacks in this island. Eventually, we will find the sleeping chef in question. And... Uh, no, not umbrella. I don't need the umbrella. I don't need the umbrella, 47. Just let's leave, please, with dignity. Sinher Ventan, also known as Akka, leader of the pirates. Okay, so she's doing her sort of rounds of the, uh, of the compound. All right, she will have one of the key cards that we need. I forgot to mention we need two key cards to... Or we can deactivate this... Uh, surveillance satellite. There's two ways of doing that. Either we get both key cards or we uh, just deactivate the satellite ourselves. Okay, so she's doing her round. She goes into the security room, but that is quite well guarded. She's worried about a guy called Shu, who is supposed to be here but isn't. That could be useful info. Let's, uh, let's see if we can check out the militia folks as well, because she seems to be pretty well guarded. Um, ideally, I would like to call a meeting between the two and sort of get them in the same place. So let's over, head over to the militia, see what they're up to. Alright, I reckon we want to go up here, like where this satellite deal is. We can scope that out, maybe, and see what the militia folks are up to. So yeah, let's, we need to head up north. Here's a cave. If you're on a pirate island and you don't investigate mysterious caves, I mean, what are you even doing? Why are you even here? Uh, okay. Oh, security camera, all right. Ah, there's some militia folks. Okay, so I can knock them out, get a militia outfit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the vodka at this guy. 
knock him out. But then if anyone finds him, he'll be lying in a pool of vodka and smell of vodka and everyone will be like, oh, had a few, has he? Well, I don't think that's suspicious. That seems normal. All right, good. I'm a militia guy. Uh, oh, his militia buddy is coming back. Have to take him out as well. But what have I got? Um, soda. Maybe this one. Maybe they were splitting it. It was like vodka and soda. And they both just went went ham on it. Overindulged. And now they're lying in a big vodka and soda pile. Okay, more security cameras, but that's no problem for a cool hitman like me. This cave is cool. And, I mean, ah, bats. Bats. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, I am digging the aesthetic, though. It's fun. I like it. Okay. Right, so that's the, that's the device that I need to sort out. Can I just blow up that panel? Would that work? Tell you what, I need to get rid of that that security camera either way, right? So let's just let's just get rid of that regardless. I think I've dropped my shovel. But I do have a fish. Oh no, he's got a friend. He's got a friend! Right, so these are some sort of ruins, I guess. It's like the militia camp, they're sort of cooking food. This guy's a noticer, which... And he's wearing different clothes, so he's probably some quite high up. Orson Mills. Okay, Crest's right-hand man, perhaps. Ah, he's going to have the other key card. Right, so Acker's got one and he's got the other. So I'm going to kill Acker anyway, so I'll definitely get that one. So I may as well see if I can knock this guy out. Well, then what's your plan? I don't think Shu's gonna come back to life if we just... Oh, damn, Shu is dead. Uh, oh, I guess they had him in this sort of pirate jail. And he died. Uh, okay, that sounds like... That sounds like good info. I should probably, like, find the body and see if that I can do anything with it. Okay, I'll probably try and knock these guards out. Oh, no, here comes... All right, Orson's on the way. Okay, so Orson does come down here as well. So that's useful. Mr. Shu had a, a heart attack or something. We didn't touch him. That's the truth. Happens every day. All we're doing is fudging the timing a bit. Well, okay. Okay, so it, it seems like they didn't kill him, but he did die in their custody. Well, okay, let me... These are locked. Let me just take this these guys out, and then I can figure out which cell he's in. Okay, I'm going with the tried and true tested method of throwing a delicious fish in the corner. You want to have a look? You want to have some lunch? Some fresh poke? Delicious. All right, good. And then we'll just uh, rinse and repeat for the second one. Mmm. Smell that. Smell that great fish. Yeah, command, there's, some kind of commotion down here. there's a commotion over how good the fish is in that room. You should go and check it out. It's delicious. If you've not had lunch yet, I would heartily recommend it. Hey. Just make sure you don't try and eat it with a crushed windpipe. All right, slight change of plan. I'm going to use my skeleton key to get into the kitchen. And here is a sleeping chef, but not my sleeping chef. Sort of nodding off in front of the TV. Clearly not enough work to do. Choke him out and uh, pop him in the chest freezer, I figure. May as well be disguised as a chef, because then I guess uh, no one will mind me faffing around in the kitchen. Okay, now we're, now we're here in the kitchen. There's a fish. And maybe I can serve this up. Or what else have we got? Oh, oh, there's someone waiting to be served. Um, would you like a fish? You can have this raw whole fish. She's 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 kind of alarmed by that. Right, what else have we got? Meat cleaver, an empty bowl. Yeah. All right, right. So let's prepare this for Noel Crest and uh he won't eat it unless he thinks it's done by the other lady, but um if we poison this with the lethal pills I brought from home obviously. Uh 47 just there's nothing he can't do. Prepare a, an authentic Ambrose Island meal, easy. Poison it, also easy. And now, and now, well, now we still have to find the sleeping chef. 
But then she'll she'll pass it off as as her meal, and uh, and then Noel Crest will eat it. Jobs are good in. All right, good stuff. Clear out the guns. Drop them back here so no one can see them. I'll get my fish back, obviously. It's useful. Uh, okay, let's check out these cells. Not hugely secure. Big sort of open holes to the outside and stuff. So I can I imagine they weren't using this one. Uh, this one. No, this is where they keep all the criminal weaponry. All the weapons that have done murders and stuff. They get locked away in here. Uh, to think about what they've done. Brick, though. I'll take that. That's useful. All right, this one looks a bit better lit. Is it? Hey, there we go. Who's that? It looks like Mr. Shu, pirate's inside man with Chiron. I doubt they'll be happy to hear he's dead in militia custody. I doubt it very much. Um, well, how do I how do I tell them that? Can I drag the body over to there? Or a photo should be sufficiently convincing. All right, fine. Yeah, cool. I'll take a photo. Nice. With my trusty hitman camera. Let me just frame this up nicely. In the camera roll. One for the gram. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's going to look real good on the grid. Oh, it's a Polaroid now, is it? This Hitman camera? <laughs> I didn't realise. Uh, okay, let's just hang out down here then until Orson comes back and we can get that keycard, maybe. If he's coming down here on the regular. Alright, I'll go and lurk in the shadows. Somewhere. Alright, here he comes. You can tell from the distinctive man bun silhouette. There's no one else down here, I don't think, so I can just uh, just pounce on him with impunity. And did he drop the card? Has he got the card? Yes, he's got the card. Great. One key card down. Let's pop him in the cell with the dead body. Uh, that'll be a, a scary surprise for him when he wakes up. That was uh, that was pretty good. We've got some sort of inciting item that'll wind up. Aka, we've got one of the key cards. This is going well. Let's just pacify, pacify this guy for good measure. Pick up the fish. Drag the body around here. Oh, oh. Let's just get him, get him into. Oh dear. Freeze! Hands off that body! Fake surrender. Oh, I smashed him in the face with the fish. Perfect. Let's just get him out of the way as well. Just tuck him in there. And uh, let's get eyes on this big old satellite unity thing. Look, that's the control unit there. Yeah, I can see. You'll need to either destroy it or deny access to keep the ether satellite out of the militia's hands. Well, I mean, I did bring an explosive with me. Okay, I'm going to go back to the pyro compound, so I'm going to just get back into my pirate outfit and then uh, head back the way I came, retrace my steps. Okay, Akka is over there, but I think she's on the phone. I think I can just go past her, that's fine. Yeah, we're alright. Hey, me again. What you gonna do, brother? That's right, Hulkamania, running wild. Okay, so she goes. we know she goes into the security room, and up here is another room that's pretty well guarded. It's maybe her office, got a big desk. Maybe I can leave the photo in here, on her chair or something, or on there. there we go, yes, place photo. Great, great, so it, when she comes up here, she'll see that, some, or some evidence, something good, I think. Uh, I can just sort of lurk here on the ledge and, uh, and see what happens. So, why don't we just, uh, why don't we just wrap this up now? There you go. That's done. You know what, I'm going to change back into 47 suit because no one seems to mind me going around generally on the island in, in my 47 suit. Whereas I feel like they might be suspicious of me as a chef. I think I've found the, the shack in question. Um, let me just wade through the water. And... Is there a sleeping person in there? I think so. Aha. Okay. Let's have a snoop around. What do we got? Oh! Cook's key? 
Well, that's a good sign. I mean, I could have used that about four minutes ago. But who would have a cook's key except a cook? This is clearly the lady I'm looking for. And I've, I've prepared the delicious poison meal for her. So I just need her to get up and like pass it off as her own handiwork. Stop messing with my alarm. If I'm late for my shift in the kitchen one more time, I'll get in huge trouble. Okay, so someone's sister has been messing with their alarm for the lols. And I think it, it falls upon me, 47, to correct, correct the alarm. Okay. We'll just do that and cheese it. And while she wakes up, realizes she's late for work and gets on with it. This is pissing me off. Okay. Okay, she's mad at her alarm. I know how that feels. And I'm not allowed to be here on the balcony. So let me just get down here and hide knee deep in the water. Just wade around to the front. And what's she up to? Hey, what are you doing in there? Are you going to go to work? I need you to go to work so I can, well, don't worry about it, but I need you to go to work. Is she changing? 47, avert your eyes. She's changing. Okay, here we go. Now she's in her chef's outfit. She's in her chef whites and presumably off to work. Let's go. Let's go to work. Let's go to the restaurant. What a nice commute. Just kind of wade ankle deep through tropical water and up the steps. And you're there in time for your shift. Well, late for your shift, but you know what I mean. All right. She is taking a while to do her rounds. But that's okay. Patience. It's one of the key weapons in the arsenal of the true silent assassin hitman. Okay. Now I just need to kill some people. What? Can I say, yeah, I'll join your your pirate gang? No? Apparently not. Can I win the slap fight with a fish? Cannot blend in. Too suspicious. Ooh, a body's been found. Oh, no. Oh, they're only unconscious, aren't they? They're not dead. Oh, well. You know what? It's miles away. I don't need to get back in there, presumably. So they can do what they want. They can hunt me all they like. Who's going to believe them? A clown snuck in here and blew up a satellite uplink. Likely story. All right. I think, she, yes, yeah, she's coming in. Here she comes. She's going to see that photo and she is going to flip. Oh, okay. She takes a drink. That's worth noting. That's her drink on the side there. Filing that away for future use. Yeah. All right. Go read it. Look at it. Flip. Flip out. I need to call then I can gut him myself. Oh, okay. She's uh, she's going to get crest for us. That'd be ideal. Okay, she's turning on the lights to start the meeting. I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll follow her. See where she goes. I feel like we're closing in on our first kill of the evening and what's she doing? Is she inspecting the kitchen, doing a quick check, thinking about what to cook. Let's go around to the kind of serving window here. Uh, can I can I order something? I'll have a non-poison meal while you're at it. Okay, she's roaming around. She's wondering where the other chefs are. Answer, he's in the chest freezer. And, oh, okay. This customer is hungry again. Hey, you crowded me. Okay, Noel Crest is heading in entirely the wrong direction. Boy, I sure am hungry, Noel Crest. I could really go for dinner about now. I don't know about you, Millcrest. How about how about turning around, doing a 180 Crest and here. anything to report? Nothing to report. Great. Let's go for a bite. Is he going the right way now? I feel like this is the last stop on his kind of patrol before he heads back to the restaurant. So, fellas, where are we going? What are we doing? I'm up for anything. Restaurant. Dinner? I'm thinking dinner. No, Who's hungry? Dinner. I'm just uh, just a casual passerby joining you on your way to the local eatery. And the only person in 100 miles wearing a, a suit. I bet this is exactly what Firefest was like. Only with more Jar Rule. Ooh, shears. Yes, please. Now, see, it feels like I could just send this. Shall I just send it? Oh, no, that guy's watching. 
that felt like a really good opportunity, but there was a guy watching me, as is always the case. Oh, she does still have at least one guard following her. At a, quite a distance, though. They've lit the signal for the meeting. I assume you have a plan in mind, 47. Uh, I don't really, actually. I was just going to sort of wing it, see how it goes. But, I mean, something's happening, right? And that's good, usually. Okay, so she's in this room, waiting to meet Crest, who I assume is on his way. Uh, over there. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he, so he's coming. So this is probably some kind of a plan, right? Well, maybe I should have gone in that room and set up a big bomb or something. I have instructions to only let you in, Mr. Crest. Oh, boy, Anyone else has to stay outside. Ah, he's leaving his guards as well. Problem is, she is a noticer, so she will definitely clock me if I'm in that room now. Oh, more drinking. I should, have, I should have just poisoned everything. All right, fine. I will just sort of observe the meeting and see if any opportunities present themselves. Right. Here we go. Okay, everyone, strap in. Get ready for Kill the First. It's, it's going to be delicious. It's going to be poison and delicious. No, Crest. Step right this way. Your normal table is waiting, sir. And and what do you want to eat? Your normal? Your unpoisoned normal food? Can do, sir. You'll be happy to know that Shri's in the kitchen, Mr. Chris. Yes. Oh, that's exactly what I was hoping to hear. I'm starving. Have a seat. Uh, she'll bring Get this man some food. Good. He's gone all night without eating because he'll only eat food cooked by this one particular person. Oh, what he should have is a food taster. Like a sort of medieval king. Okay, right. We've got two chefs in the kitchen. Oh, I better not. I better not break in while they're hard at work doing their chefing duties. And he acts like I'm saving his life. Oh, no, Crest has like a delicate tummy. Can't have too much cumin. So she's like, huh, this meal's already been prepared. And it appears to be smoking with a kind of pink vapor. But you know what? I'm late for work. And this is really going to save my bacon. So let's just pretend I cooked it. Let's just serve it up. And they just needed a, an extra pinch of this and a little sprinkle of that. And let's go, let's go. Okay. Okay. Poison meal is in play. Oh, screwdriver. That's pretty useful. I could turn off the projector, but why would I do that? These people are enjoying their movie. Who am I to ruin that? Just some of the great entertainment laid on by the organisers of Firefest. Sir, yeah. I'm afraid you don't have the right clearance. Sorry. Sure, that's you're very polite for a bloodthirsty pirate. Wait, is that boat? Could I dislodge that boat as he walks past? Is that a thing? Now the meeting is still going on. It's quite snippy. They're all just sort of having a go at each other. Um, so far, no obvious murder opportunities have presented themselves. If they do, obviously, I'm poised, like a coiled spring, ready to jump into action. Meeting's still going on. Um, but, oh no, they are going, okay, they're going somewhere else, I think, to get some fresh air. Which is, I mean, it's better than this, because this has been a real, real nothing in murder terms so far real murder duck egg so let's uh, let's follow them and see where, where they where they end up under a big rock maybe okay they're heading into the ruins oh, god there is a there is a noticer up there um can i go around the side is that is that a all right um okay I've, uh, i can distract him maybe just throw something behind him what have i got uh brick yeah there we go there you go. Knew that would come in handy. All right. Hitman away. Another screwdriver. He's got a collection here. Hammer. Picking up a uh, veritable toolbox worth of kit here. What's going on in this little shed? It's like a party shed. This is where the real Firefest is. They've got a giant disco ball in there and everything. All right. So I know he comes and stands under this boat. 
Is there a spot where I can shoot the frame that the boat's on? Get it to land on him? Where is he? Oh, he's coming around. He's coming around fast. All right. Let's find a spot where I'm not going to be seen. Is this is this good? Can I even hit it from here with a pistol? Don't know. We'll find out, I guess. I mean, I can have the pistol out here, and I'm not I'm not suspicious. Oh, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Where is he? He's chatting with his men. Oh, it's a long range shot, but. I mean, I'll have a great view of it if it comes down. All right, I just need to be patient, which is not one of my strong suits. I'll tell you what is a strong suit, though. This clown suit. <laughs> okay, here you are, sir. Some kind of some kind of rice dish, I guess. Big bowl of heaping helping poison. A heaping helping of poison. Oh, oh, that's the good stuff. That's the extra quick acting poison. And he's down. He's face down. Yeah, uh, looks like an accident. Does look like an accident. I'd start running if I were you, Shree. This doesn't look good for you. All right, they are, they're right next to each other, which is good. But, and, oh, there's a gas canister right there, but there's also a man looking directly at them. So that's not ideal. Okay. I mean, she's talking in really sinister terms and did say that she wanted to murder him, so hopefully... Hopefully. Yes. Yes, Akka. Nice. Yeah, thanks, Akka. Oh, why are you a percentage of the fee? Oh, no, wait. I'm here to kill you as well. Here he comes. Oh, my God. I'm going to have one shot at this. One shot at it. Here we go. Go. Oh, my God. It was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. It properly, properly clocked him on the head. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, oh, a terrible accident. Wow, who, who would have guessed? Health and safety at Fire Festival, not top priority, apparently. That was perfect. The way it landed on his head and broke across the top of his skull. That was incredible. All right, good, good. I am happy with that. I just think this would be really funny. I know probably everyone's going to go completely bonkers if I do it but wouldn't it be funny if like when this guy's about to get slapped in the face he gets hit with a fish instead <laughs> sorry sorry didn't mean to sorry here we are okay that's got to be Akka's drink let's just squeeze out a poison frog over it that's okay I can entertain myself on this ledge can walk back and forth like that bangle song